what's going on guys and today we're going to be doing episode 6 of the franchise mode series the vancouver canucks franchise mode series now after missing the playoffs in a complete embarrassing feat we have signed the one and only austin matthews <coughs> to hopefully bring our team to glory so if you like this video if you like it if you really like it subscribe and i'll get on to the video so, our first line, we have Evgeny Kuznetsov, Austin Matthews, and Brock Besser. Second line, we have Connor Brown, Pedersen, Velas... Nah, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. We have Noah Thalander, JT, and Manjpani. And this guy. Don't know who this guy is. And Jacob Brannon. Quinn Hughes and Alexander Romanov, Larson, <coughs> Jet Wu, and Conjury Miller. I think I'll move him up there, yeah. And Scott Mayfield. No scratched. Goalie's got Swayman and DiPietro. We are hoping to make a deep playoff run, make some noise, and once again, make a second Stanley Cup. <coughs> Not a second Stanley Cup. Uh, yeah, have a stem, second time to go. Preseason has gone pretty darn well. 5-5-1. Five, five, and one. <coughs> I mean, 5-1-1. One, and one. So, with that, maybe we can... I don't know, bring the momentum in, win a bunch of games. Listen to the 10-game mark. And after the 5 games, after the 10 games, we're at a respectable 5-3-2. and two. Started off the month terribly. Three losses, <clears throat> one in the shootout. After a four game winning streak, brought us back up. <coughs> so, we are currently holding the last wildcard spot. With the Kings right at our back, and oh, okay, so this is not the best. Alright, let's see. Matthews, 10 goals in 10 games. <coughs> Can't ask for more. Uh, Pedersen's also playing good. We got three, almost four, almost six p players that are scoring at crazy race putting up points. And I don't see, I don't see anybody slacking here. Been pretty good. Scott Mayfield could be better, <coughs> but he's not. And Goalies, is it just, it might be a goaltending problem. Okay, DP Escher has been playing way better than Swayman, even though he has played only one game. Alright, I think we, I think we gotta play DP Escher. I'm gonna send him to the 20 game mark, see where we're at there. Last month we were 5, 3, and 2, now we're 10, 6, and 4. <coughs> Alright. There might, we might need to make a change here. Just might need to make a change. Alright. Jeremy Swayman and a second round pick for a 86. Oh, I'm going to show him. For a legitimate starter. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. But definitely an improvement and basically all I had to do was give up a second round pick. Next game against the Knights. He's gonna sim as one because I'm gonna see if um guy that wants on side. Oh well, almost came back, but a two one loss against a mm, team that we probably should have won. Oh yeah, that would be perfect if we won. Yes, Ilya Labushkin is now on our team, probably gonna play him. On our first line, no, on our third pa pairing D. Could be playing in the NHL. Or a guy that will probably trade it, trade that line. Or a third. Uh, yeah, for Jake Muffin on that third pairing D. Be fine. <coughs> and now let's him to the 30 game mark. And that was 
Okay, 31 games. I did one too many. But that was a run. Like, that was really good. You have a lot of games on ha in hand against everybody. Pedersen on that second line. Playing amazing. Probably Matthews is also playing amazing. Yes. <clears throat> now who is Pedersen the top scorer? Top goal scorer in the league? I would not be surprised. Okay, no. It's pretty far from it, but McDavid's gonna be McDavid. Ever since that goaltending change, we have been playing pretty good. Uh, how's Jake Muzzin? <coughs> Alright. Simming to the 50 game mark. Unless we go on a cold streak, I will sim to the 50 game mark. Nice back to back wins. Okay, uh, didn't go as well, but <clears throat> yes, it was fine ish. I don't know, that wasn't the best one. But at the 50 game mark, Austin Matthews ha almost has 40 goals. That's insane. So, Vegas. It's gonna be hard to catch up to them. The Ducks are right behind us. The Oilers are pretty far from us. We'd be first in the central. Oh my god. <clears throat> uh, I will probably sim up to the traded line. Or since this team is not perfect, we're gonna make some big moves. Alright, there is something wrong with this team. I can't fully find it because now we have so many games in hand and we're barely holding on. Uh, yeah, there is something wrong with this team. Is it just goals against? Oh, I don't know. It might be. Because we are definitely outscoring these guys. Not scoring. That you might get kicked off of the lineup. We're playing pretty good. Oh, uh, we might have to get bent for a few games. I think it's their D. Probably just their defense. Alright, big defensive move is gonna come up here. Goaltending. Okay, also goaltending have not been the best. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, goaltender. Goaltender and big defenseman. <coughs> Alright, two huge wins against the Ducks, even though we lost the Kraken. Uh, death and buyer. <coughs> the team is not getting younger. Okay, why is Ottawa. Ottawa, what are you doing? Are, he's an art. Oh, oh my. What is Ottawa doing? They're trading their young center, their young star. Oh, this is why, um. That's why you never trust Ottawa. Alright, I'll see you soon. I'm gonna go after the defense then. Alright, so we traded a first, a second, a prospect, and that guy just benched. Because he wasn't playing good enough. For. A defenseman, a pretty good defenseman, if you'd ask me. You'll see after because I don't want to pronounce his name again, like I always say. Him, uh, Jacob Slavin. So he is now on our team. <coughs> I just took him as a rental. Bit of an overpay for a rental, but you gotta do what you gotta do to win, to have success in the playoffs. There, there's no goalies on there's no good goalies on the market. So that will be another big move, hopefully to set us over the edge defensive defensively. With him, maybe. 
Just maybe we'll help us a bit on the defensive side of things. What's new? This season and in real life, you might get 60. Uh, Lobushian, Lobiskin. That did not make any sense, I know. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, wait, no, yeah, I was only playing on one way. So, yeah, I like this. This game, Jake Muslim will also play pretty good. <coughs> this team is a very solid team. Best in the league. Bit of a stretch. One of the best? Absolutely. <coughs> what looking for? Yeah, Lubushin play fight. Oh, uh, no, Kevin. Oh, man. yeah, I think I'm gonna have to take out Lubushin. And I will see you at the near end of the season. Alright. So we are exactly tied with the Knights for for third. Do we do you wanna play the ducks? <coughs> or do we wanna play the stars? One hundred percent the stars start losing games. <coughs> I mean it's ducks or stars either way. Massey's probably super close to me. Oh, that's my run. Alright. Big <clears throat> win. And now Matthew is getting super close to 60 goals. This is a story we are 100% making the playoffs. But here's a bigger question. Both these scores. Will Matthews hit 60? And will he pass McDavid? <coughs> That's what we're following right now. Also, get away from- Oh, big- Actually, this is a huge- Huge game against the struggling Knights. We're gonna win these two next games against Vegas. <coughs> I might, I really will hope. Matthew's now one goal from 60, and that was a huge win against Vegas. Setting them farther and farther behind, but now we are definitely playing the Ducks. I'm almost guaranteed, but we might pass, no, we won't pass them up. <coughs> <clears throat> Matthew hit 60. Ooh, but uh, uh, that hurts. That was a big, big lead, blo big lead blown. Matthew's with 60 goals in less than 80 games. <clears throat> And now he is two points ahead of me, David. Probably. Probably will win the heart. Probably gonna win the heart, the. the Mario, the Rock Shard, everything. But now we have to. We, it, this game is a must win game against Vegas. <coughs> Send them even farther behind in the standings. And a must win game that we lost. Is that good? Is that better for us? Or is that worse for us? We don't really know. 
school. Army. If we win one game, we're in the playoffs. But do we want to play? Oh yeah, we made the playoffs. And there's no way we catch up to Vegas. Actually, there is. And the Avalanche or the Stars? I hope the Stars win. I'm getting some steam. Okay, so it is the avalanche. If we win and we're playing the avalanche. If Vegas loses tonight and we win, we're playing the ducks. If we lose, we're playing the avalanche. <clears throat> Alright. Avalanche, the team that completely disappointed us in our second year. Here we go. We will see you in the playoffs, but not in this video, in the next video. Now, if you guys like this video, like it, hit subscribe, and that will be it.